Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlemon.com and this is a total series on SQL Server 2014 by me and in this video we are going to discuss about T-SQL. This is the content for this video and first we are going to discuss about what is T-SQL. T-SQL is a proprietary version of SQL or SQL to maintain SQL Server Management Database provided by Microsoft or developed by Microsoft. Now what is SQL? SQL or Structure Query Language is a programming language used to manage relational database. And Transact SQL or T-SQL is property version of SQL developed by Microsoft to maintain SQL Server Database and its component. In our next window, we are going to see how to write our first T-SQL command. You can write a T-SQL query in any available test type data. For example, you can write your T-SQL query using Notepad. If you are not aware about the syntax of T-SQL query, I am going to show the syntax of T-SQL query in my next window. For the time being or for the practice of this video, just type select space single quote hello world say three exclamation mark close the single quote semicolon. This is your first T-SQL query and congratulations you write your first T-SQL query. Save this file to save our work. I am going to save my file at desktop i am going to name my file is test dot sql file click on save now our first query is ready in next slide we are going to see how to execute this sql command or t sql command you can use SQL CMD or SQL Server Management Studio for executing a T-SQL query. For this tutorial series, we are going to use SQL Server Management Studio for all the example. But how to use a SQL CMD or SQL command prompt, I am going to show in next slide. To use a SQL CMD command, the prerequisite is SQL Server 2014 or any SQL Server database or SQL Server is installed in your machine. In my machine, I install SQL Server 2014 with instance name dev14. So how to use SQL CMD? Here is the syntax to use SQL CMD to execute a T SQL query saved in a text file. And this is our text file test.sql and this is the SQL query which you create you are created. Now we have to execute this T SQL query using SQL CMD. For this you have to open command prompt. Windows R run CMD and enter to open command prompt. Now as you see our current working directory is C users mag but our file is saved in our desktop so where it is here it is and we have to execute this using tsql so first change your current working directory cd space desktop now our current working directory is desktop and our file is here test.sql now here is the syntax to execute a tsql query type sql cmd space minus s your sql server machine name or sql server ip address if your SQL Server installed in your local machine, you can use dot backslash your SQL Server installed na instance name. My SQL Server instance name is dev14 space minus i. 
your SQL Server file name test dot SQL. Press enter to execute. My first T SQL query or your first T SQL query is executed successfully. Congratulations to all. Now let's say your current working directory is E and my file is available at C users my young desktop. Now how to use SQL CMD in this scenario? Simple. Change your file name with full change your test.sql with your full path of file and my file path is c users myang desktop test.sql press enter to execute my query is executed successfully if you are facing or you got this error message it means your file path is incorrect so if you are facing this just check your file name or file path now in our next slide we are going to show how to use sql server management studio to write a query and execute a query first what is sql server management studio or ssms SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS is a Windows based GUI tool provided by Microsoft to maintain SQL Server database and its component. SQL Server Management Studio provides a query editor window or query editor to writing T-SQL query. The query editor have lots of features such as intelligence and syntax highlighter for writing current SQL query now how to write your first query in SQL Server Management Studio first you have to open SQL Server, Man SQL Server Management Studio and how to open simple type Windows R and run type SSMS and hit enter your SQL Server Management Studio is opened successfully This is the default window in which SQL Server Management Studio asking for your SQL Server database engine information. As I told you, my SQL Server installed in my local machine, so I can use DOT. If you know the SQL Server machine name, then you can type SQL Server machine name and your SQL Server instance name. Hit enter to connect. Next step, we have to open a query window. How to open a query window? You can click on this button or press Ctrl N to open a query window. You can also use File, Menu, click on File, New, and Query with Current Connection. <coughs> For this video, I already opened SQL Server Management Studio and I have to show the overview of Query Editor. First, I am going to show how to write a comment in Query Editor. You can write a comment in Query Editor by two ways. First, comment, first type is multi-line comment and second is single line comment. If you want to write a multi-line comment, forward slash star star backslash in between these two you can write multiple lines and all the lines is comment all these are comments in single line comment you have to type two time minus and you can now write anything this is my this is my single line comment and I am not going to split it. I am not able to split it. What happen if you split? This is no longer comment. So just backspace and this is my single line comment and this is my multi line comment. 
now you can write your query here select hello world semicolon this is your first query now how to execute this query simple select your sql t sql query and click on execute to execute alternate method is you can select and press function key function f5 key to execute or keyboard shortcut is control e as i mentioned in my previous slide that sql ed uh, query editor provide intelligence and syntax highlighter so as you see my select is in green color or oh, sorry in blue color and my string is in red color and you can see get that is a function and this is in different color intelligence what is intelligence it is a pop-up appear when you type something okay use v okay this is my intelligence which help you to write sql query faster now that's it for this video and just last slide slide for you to practice what we learn in this video this is for five exercise which you have to perform and you can share the output with me if you want to check the result or answer or explanation for this exercise you can visit my blog and its address is blog.vlemon.com now a brief ex explanation on our exercise is first you have to create a new text file in which you have to type select get that and you have to execute this using sql cmd okay open your notepad type select space get that get that bracket open bracket close bracket semicolon you have to save this file and you have to execute this using sql cmd uh, i mentioned the file name you have to save the file name test dot abc yes you have to save this file in test.abc and you have to execute sql cmd to execute this command and this is the syntax to execute a t sql query using sql cmd third oh sorry second exercise is you have to save this output in sorry you have to save this output in a text file third exercise is you have to open a sql server management studio then you have to connect a database and open a query editor window fourth exercise is in your query editor you have to type select space hello world you have to execute this and you have to share the output if you want last exercise is you have to execute this command and share the output that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend 